Trump's helicopter partner named Nate Holden. Defending Donald Trump in a near-fatal helicopter incident was former state senator and Los Angeles City Councilman Nate Holden, who just gave an exclusive interview to Politico. Holden, not former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown, was Trump's traveling companion on the nerve-wracking trip, contrary to what the former president has claimed time and time again. Holden, who is 95 years old and remembers the terrifying incident clearly, thinks it happened around 1990. According to Holden, Willie is the diminutive black man residing in San Francisco. I'm a black man residing in Los Angeles, and I'm tall. We must all look similar, he remarked, laughing heartily. An additional source of misunderstanding arose on Thursday during a press conference at Mar-a-Lago. Trump, when answering a question regarding Vice President Kamala Harris's relationship history with the previous San Francisco mayor, brought up Willie Brown. It was another one of Trump's Joe Biden moments when he asserted his familiarity with Brown, saying they had been through a chopper emergency together. We were beginning to think this might be it. There was an emergency landing while we were on the chopper flying to a certain area together, Trump informed reporters. When CNN contacted Brown, he flatly refuted Trump's story. He made it clear that he had never been in a helicopter with the man before. He went on to say that Trump was wrong to try to bring Vice President Harris into disrepute. Holden concurred, speculating that Trump was probably trying to discredit his political rival by spreading this allegation. Holden recounted their first meeting in the Trump Tower lobby during their journey to Atlantic City to see the Taj Mahal Casino's grand opening in the interview. There, Trump was irritated by the frequent use of the title, Senator, to describe Holden. You know I own this building but nobody seems to know who I am, he said, Holden remembered. This episode particularly unsettled Holden since it occurred soon after the horrific 1989 helicopter crash near Forked River, New Jersey, that killed five individuals, three of whom were senior executives from Trump's casinos. Nate Holden's memories provide light on this situation and highlight the lasting contrasts between Trump and Brown in contrast to Trump's dramatic portrayal of their friendship and shared near-death experience. According to Brown, there is no reason why Kamala's name ought to be mentioned anywhere alongside his lies, highlighting the possible political motivations that may be motivating Trump's distortions. The blunder is a sobering statement on public misunderstandings and the skewed stories told in politics, according to Holden. We have to joke about it, Holden said, finding humor in his near-death encounter with Donald Trump, even though it was severe.